morning, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. It's the 18th day of, uh, of August. Um, fall is coming, guys. Um, it's coming quick. Um, I have a word for you this morning that comes from some inspiration from hanging out with a brother in the Lord. I've got a brother in the Lord that came in from another city yesterday and called me and said he was in town and wanted to get together and just go to Dairy Queen and hang out and talk and share. And um, So we, we did. Uh, I got a chance to break away from some things I was doing and, and went and hung out with him. And we just talked scripture and ate and just fellowshiped. And uh, it inspired this word. Honestly, uh, Mike, this is for you, Mike. Um, you know, God calls us sometimes to things, and most generally when he calls us to it, it's out of our league. It's, 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 we're generally not qualified. We're generally over our heads. It's something way too big for us to handle in our flesh when God calls us to some things. Um, you know, when he called Moses to the burning bush, Moses had been shepherding sheep for 40 years hiding in the wilderness and then God said guess what you're my man I'm calling you to go deliver the children of Israel it wasn't anything Moses could do and I'm sure his his heart was probably beaten out of his chest and for some of you God's called you to something greater something bigger something you know something of a David coming on a scene and seeing Goliath and going hey you know what he's big but I've beaten big before you know, some of you might have that confidence. Some of you, your heart may be beating out of chest because you're thinking, God, I, I ain't never walked on water before. I don't, I don't know. Um, there's always an uncertainty. But the, 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 the funny thing is that God is constantly allowing for our growth, for our transformation. And once we get to where we're wanting to transform, where we're wanting to be healed, where we're wanting to be whole, where we're wanting that one thing that's always escaped us, when we're wanting to beat that thing that seems like it always beat us. You know, whether it's an addiction or being in a relationship or changing jobs or, or, or deciding to go back to school or starting a ministry that nobody else has done, working with uh, the homeless. You know, it, there's, there's a myriad of things that, that can pop up, you know, having children. Um, I always wanted to be a father. I have five children, and I can't tell you how many children I have from marriages that people would consider stepchildren, but are actually they're actually my children now. I have one exchange student from South America um, that is my son. God will take what you want, the desire that you want, the desire that you have deep down inside, and he'll magnify that thing to the nth degree, and you'll be amazed when you look back over your shoulder at where you've come from and what you've traveled over. I, uh, I've been out west and I looked at, uh, went to some of the places where Lewis and Clark traveled. Um, I, I, I was amazed at the magnitude of the mountains, of the width of the Columbia River. And these guys didn't have anything modern to cross or to climb, and they also had a female with them that was pregnant. Um, it fascinates me sometimes the things that we can do as humans. In our own strength much less when we partner up with God I want to encourage you all that uh, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you strengthens you all things so that thing that's in front of you right now that you think I I, I just can't do this I, I this thing's gonna break my heart or or this thing I'm, I'm, I'm afraid 365 times in the Bible God says fear not and I'm telling you 366 times right now fear not if God's called you to it he's going to equip you even though maybe you're unqualified right now David was a child when God anointed him king over Israel he didn't take over Israel right away but he was anointed way before and I'm sure Moses was anointed to do what he was doing way before and he just kind of got ahead of God we don't get ahead of God don't try and figure this thing out and do it before he gives you the, the way to do it, okay? You know, I'm, I've been busy, busy, busy. And I'm going to ask for you guys to really, really pray because I've got so many things that have to be done before the end of the year. And uh, I'm not looking at probably slowing down until about November. 
and then of course you know it's a Thanksgiving is that month and and then Christmas is the next month and it just you know that season starts to snowball and go really fast um, I've got some needs I've got some things going on that I really need for God to move on and give me some some insight and some wisdom on and um, we are also starting uh, the Emmaus men's teaming process today um, so we will be meeting today all day uh, not just us but the women also um, and we will start the teaming process will take about a month and then we will go into the men's and women's and children's retreats in October for the fall retreats so um, keep Mr. William prayer I try not to get overwhelmed, but sometimes it's just really, really overwhelming, um, balancing family, relationships, ministry, um, finding time to rest and to be still, because um, that's really important. Um, and that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to be in meetings all day, so I don't know. I might get another video in later on this evening. I'm not sure. Um, but I pray you have a great day, and I pray this message ministers to you. If it does, you know, I'm Willie Owens165 uh, on Instagram. I am Willie Owens on Facebook, and I am Mr. Willie in West Virginia on my YouTube channel. Subscribe, pass it on, and uh, make sure the word gets where it needs to get. Okay? Hey, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Shalom.